All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel. And ever since I've been doing some cast iron cooking videos, I've been getting questions on how I'd clean up my cast iron skillet. Typically, I would just put it on the ground, let the dogs lick it out and call it good. But since you guys have been asking, I figured I'd show you what I do uh, when the skillet starts to get pretty bad and I do want to get it cleaned out. All right, so the main things that I use when I'm gonna clean out the cast iron skillet is uh, fresh water, which I just have in here. Uh, there's no soap or anything, it's just plain water. Uh, I have some just cheap vegetable oil, some paper towels, uh, my uh, spatula, which is also dirty, and, my, uh, and a little scrub brush. So when you're doing cast iron, you never want to use any soap or any type of detergent in there. You just want to use clean water. And so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add some water to the pan, fill it about maybe halfway up, and then just put it on the fire and let that water come to a boil. And uh, when it gets boiling, I'll bring you guys back and show you, kind of show you what I start to do at that point. All right, so the water's not quite to a boil yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start using my spatula and just kind of moving it around easy so I don't slosh the water too much and just start breaking loose some of the bigger chunks that are in there. And the, you know, once the water gets hot, starts getting hot like this, this, these chunks will just come right off. Again, be careful, don't do what I just did there and dump water into your fire, because you need your fire to... I'm gonna need what left, what's left of my fire here to finish cleaning this out. Now I can also, since I'm cleaning the cast iron skillet, I can clean my spatula too. I can use my brush here and just kind of scrub off my, my uh, spatula. And I can just set that aside and I'll rinse it off later. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just throw on a glove. Now that, that water's good and hot, it's plenty hot enough, it's not fully boiling, but it's plenty hot enough. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the cast iron skillet out of the fire all the way together. And I'm gonna really scrub it now good with this brush. There, now most of everything's kind of broke loose. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a couple paper towels here, wipe out any residual crud that's in there. Get it kind of good and wiped off. Fairly good. Now there's still a little bit that's kind of right here that's, and I'm just gonna give it a good scrape. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm not real worried about getting it all cleaned out. You know, a little bit in there is not gonna hurt anything. But anyways, once I kind of get to this point, I'm gonna put it back in the fire. Um, in fact, actually what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little bit more water in here and I'm going to give it just a, a little bit more scrubbing. Whoops. Good thing I had the lid on that. And then I'm just going to rinse that out a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put this back on the fire and let that water evaporate out. It's important that you don't um, leave any water in the pan. So I don't like even just taking the pan and uh, wiping it out and putting it away because you know these cast iron skillets, they have pores in them and they can trap water and that water can cause it to rust. So what I like to do, or what you need to do, not so much what I like to do, but what you need to do is, you know, put it back either on your stove burner, put it back in the fire like this, let all that water evaporate out of the skillet. And then what we'll do is we'll use this oil and use just a tiny bit of it um, to 
wipe around the skillet and to make sure that it doesn't want to rust and then it'll be pretty well ready to put away. But I'm gonna let this water evaporate out. It should, get, it should happen pretty quick and I'll bring you guys back on. All right, so now that all the uh, water has evaporated out on it, you just do your the final step that I like to do before I put the cast iron skillet away to kind of keep it from rusting or anything is you just add a tiny dab of oil. And I prefer to use just the cheap vegetable oil. I would never cook with this stuff. It's really not really good for you. But most, for the most case, most of this stuff, this cheap vegetable oil is made out of soybean oil. And soybean oil has a really high smoke point, which works really good for... Um, Seasoning a skillet another one that I think is good is flaxseed oil, but this is just a whole lot cheaper um, But again, you're just going to use a tiny Drip of it and even that might be just a, a little bit much, but you just let that drip in there Grab yourself some paper towels And just wipe that around Go ahead and even wipe around the edges of your skillet. And just kind of wipe that in good. And then when you got it all wiped in good, put it back on the fire. I like to put it back on the fire. Now this is what I do. You could probably put it away just fine at this point, it shouldn't rust. But I like to put it back on the fire and let the skillet sit in there until that, uh, that oil starts to smoke. And that really, you know, basically gets the oil and kind of, I don't know, it gets in the pores and it, it really puts a nice um, non-stick finish on the pan. So, or at least it seems to, for me, it's, it's kind of worked out for me that way. But I'll just let that get to a smoking point. And once it does get to the, it starts to smoke, then I just pull it off and I'll let it cool um, let's just pull it off the fire and let it cool and then once it's cooled off, I'll put it away. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure that you're going to be able to see that oil uh, smoking in the video, but you can start to see like it's definitely kind of smoking around the pan. And so at that point, um, so here if I kind of pull it out, you can definitely see that oil is smoking off the pan. So to me, give it a little blowout, you know, so you get any of the ash out and I can just set the pan out somewhere. Uh, to cool and once it's cool, I'll put it away So anyways, that's all I do with my cast iron, you know, I think that there's um, a lot of people get uh, th Think that cast iron is really hard to take care of to me. It's super easy uh, This is you know, like I said most of the time I just let the dogs lick it out and then throw it when I want to cook on it again I just throw it on the fire and uh, heat it up to a point where it'll kill any bacteria but if I do cook something and it leaves a big mess in the skillet and I do want to clean it out, this is the process that I typically use. So anyhow, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. And I'll see you guys again outside. Mm -hmm.